The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. There was a Yid from America called Yaakov Hopfer. And he was very excited because he was going to Eretz Yisrael to learn the main yeshiva. He'd heard about Eretz Yisrael. He'd heard about the main yeshiva. Never been there before, never experienced it. But he heard about it. And he was so excited that he too was going to learn in yeshiva. He too was going to go to Eretz Yisrael to learn. And he remembered that his father told him that when he was younger, his father... His father was one of the Chavruzer of Chaim Shmulevitz, who was the Rosh Hashim of the Me. So he went to his father, you know, had a sat, had a sat, sat down conversation before going to Eretz So I'm going to Eretz I'm going to the Me. Give me some advice, give me my parting words, you know, to, I should have had sloch over there. So, Father, I'll tell you what, I want you to have a shaykh as a connection with the Rosh Hashim of Chaim. Chaim Shmulevitz, he took out a small picture, a picture that he had for years and years of Rabbi Chaim Shmulevitz as a young child. And he said, go and give this to the Rosh Hashiva. Give this to Reb Chaim. And the father thought through that, he'll get his son to have a connection, the Shaykhs, with the Rosh Hashiva, with Reb Chaim. So that's what happened. So he went to the Yeshiva, he went to the Meir, settled down. He was waiting for the right opportunity to go over to the Rosh Hashiva, Reb Chaim, and say, look what I've got. And a very interesting picture of you as a young child. So he finally finds the right time. And he goes over to Reb Chaim. So Reb Chaim, when he was a 14-year-old boy, Reb Chaim was probably 70-year-old at the time. He was a 14-year-old boy at the time. And he shows over and says, look, my father, please, this was this so-and-so. And he said, oh, I remember learning with him. Oh, what a ye, the chosh ye. And they were discussing it. And they were laughing, telling stories about it. And he said, I want to show you what my father sent. And he pulled out this picture of Reb Chaim as a 14-year-old boy. And Reb Chaim took the picture. And all of a sudden, the smile turned into a serious face. And he said, excuse me for a moment. And he went to the corner of, of the room of the Bishmedrish and he started crying and crying and crying. And, and this boy was taken aback, like, oh, right, this whole thing backfired on me. I thought he'll be so happy and so excited. I got a picture of him. Wow, unbelievable. Where'd you get this from? Whatever. And, and, and he's crying. So he went over. He said, Rebbe, Rebbe, uh, I'm so sorry. Please explain. Well, what, what happened? What, what, what did I do? He said, You don't understand. I look at the picture and I think to myself, What have I done with my life? What have I accomplished? I was a 14-year-old boy at the time. I had aspirations to become this and to become that. And what have I done with my life? This is Rabbi Chaim Shmulevet speaking. The of the main Shiva. Kola Kula is fingertips. But he understood what it means. Whatever you accomplish. Whatever goals you got to keep on going. There's no end. There's no end of the line. You just have to keep on going. And that's what Shavu says. Yes, once a year we have a renewal, a reconnection. To Torah, to Kabbalah, to Torah. But after that, it doesn't stop there. It's got to continue and continue and continue. We've got to keep on building it and building it and building it. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire.org.